Hi, Ray. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Now, I got to ask you, you're one of the most experienced martial artists out there. I mean, you've been fighting for decades. And not only that, but you've been fighting at the highest level of competition. You know, you're 41 years of age now, and you've taken sort of a white-collar type of job being the president of uh, World Series of Fighting. How long do you yeah. see yourself fighting now? Well, I have, my goal right now is uh, have seven, four, seven more matches. And then um, right now I'm at 93 pro fights. So seven more matches will uh, be, you know, 100 fights. And um, I think that's where I'm going to call it quits. Uh, I've had a very uh, blessed career. Um, you know, I've won six world titles through kickboxing. Um, I've been inducted into two halls of fame. And, and, you know, things that I never would would have dreamed that would happen. And so, I, you know, I, I thank the good Lord every day. And I, and, uh, I thank all the fans, all the love and support throughout my career. But, you know, there's seven more fights. And um, I look to, you know, to complete that. And then I think I'm going to hang up the gloves. <laughs> Now, you say seven more fights, and you've really fought who's who in, in kickboxing. Is there really anybody out there that you still want to fight? Um, yeah, I, absolutely. I mean, you know, there's always, um, you know, the, the, there's a the rematch. Um, I would love the rematch with Krokop because I took that fight on, um, on you know, really no training, um, training camp because... And when I was called about it, uh, I was in Brazil for two weeks with Vito Balfour, and then I came back for a week and a half, and then I was in Chicago with uh, Evan Dunham for a week, uh, came back for another week and a half, and then we were in Sydney, Australia for a little over a week for uh, Martin Kaplan. And so, and these are all UFC events. And, and um, I came home for 12 hours, jumped on a plane, flew to Croatia, fought him three days later. So uh, on, the, on the assumption that he was retiring, and um, because that, you know, that obviously that was, that's what I was told. It was his final fight. He was retiring, and he's the only one in K1 that I didn't really, out of the you know the top level kickboxers, um, that had eluded me in, uh, back then. And um, so I thought, you know, this would be a great opportunity to fight, regardless uh, of the fact that I didn't have a, a full camp or, or a camp, so to speak. And so um, I took it because you know I. I um, I knew that um, it was still a dangerous fight, but you know, I I, I didn't I wasn't concerned about the outcome. I was I just wanted to say that I did, you know, go head to heads with him. But um, when he had uh, afterwards, when he had announced that he was going to continue fighting and that he had signed a contract with K1, that kind of um, um, it kind of pissed me off a little bit because I don't know if I can use that word, and I apologize if I can't. Um, but it kind of upset me a little bit because, um, you know, I was, I was told that he it was his final fight. And if I knew that he had signed with, you know, he was going to sign another contract somewhere else, and then I probably would have waited until I had a full camp for that. So that being said, yeah, I would love to see that fight happen again. Well, let me tell you, I would love to see that rematch. You guys are two of the most dangerous strikers out there. But you've really had an awesome career, and you fought, as I said, many people and, and many big names. But what has been the favorite moment of your career? Um, that's a good question. I mean, I, for me, I think the, the favorite moments uh, would have to be just just to be to be able to say that I've shared the you know the ring or the cage with some of the best fighters in the world. Um, you know, there's not many people that can say that. Um, there's thousands and thousands of fighters, and um, there's only very few champions, and so, um, uh, or very few people that get to experience that. And so, I think that's the pro you know, if I had to pick a um, a prime moment, then you know, then that would be it. You know what I mean? Because I've experienced winning titles, um, winning belts, and, and so on. And um, but um, you know, you can do that from time to time, but it's it's rare to say that you've actually been in the ring uh, or the um, cage with some of the best fighters in the world. Now, talk to us a little bit about you know uh, MMA. You you've not you're not the president of World Series of Fighting, um, but you've really spent most of your career around the kickboxing. Why why MMA now? Well, you know, I, I was first introduced to MMA uh, back in 2000, and um, three you know, and the first time I had ever experienced 
um, the ground um, with jujitsu was with a good friend of mine, Hoist Gracie. And so um, back then, I already was uh, starting to be a fan of the sport. And I used to watch a lot of the Pride um, fights uh, and, and, you know, enjoyed the, that process. But um, I didn't really focus too much on it until about five, six years ago. Uh, six years ago now. And, um, you know, there, there was an opportunity that presented itself in terms of starting versus of fighting uh, myself and, and a good friend of mine uh, who's like a brother to me. Uh, you know, we sat down, we talked about um, the possibilities and and, and um, this opportunity presented itself uh, and, and we started it. And also having to uh, be in, you know, in that world uh, for martial arts, there's, there's, the UFC is the mecca of the game, um, and um, there's a lot of fighters that have to, you know, get somewhere first before the, you know the UFC looks at them. And so uh, we knew that there's a, a huge opportunity um, out there for another league. I mean, we just have to look at our first card, and and uh, and this is what I, I said to a lot of reporters before that card. Uh, all you have to do is look at look at the cards um, because that showed that there is a lot of uh, talent that's um, out there and that needs a, a, a great platform uh, like NBC Sports Network to um, showcase their talent or their skills, should I say. Now, you guys have uh, scheduled the uh, World Series of Fighting 2 in March. Um, tell us a little bit about that card. Have you guys had any new uh, matchups that have added that have been added to that card, other than the Tyson Nam fight with uh, Marlon Moraes? I uh, just, um, you know, uh, we haven't actually. I mean, we definitely uh, going to have Anthony Johnson, Andre Alaski on that card as well. Um, we you have Josh Brookman, I think, uh, matched up against. Um, What's the guy's name? Is it Steve Carl? I'm trying to remember his name now. Um, yeah, so there's a couple of, you know, it's, it's funny you ask that question because uh, I have a meeting in a couple of hours um, with a matchmaker, which, you know, we're going to go over and, and somewhat try and finalize a card by uh, within the next week or so. Now, do you guys have an exact date for that uh, event? It's not, um, we're looking at uh, the end of March, not 100% confirmed yet, um, but it should be, you know, again, like I said, uh, next week there's a lot of, uh, there'll be a few announcements to be made, um, so I think next week we'll, we'll, we'll uh, confirm things by, uh, I want to say Wednesday, Thursday. Now, uh, the first event obviously was in Planet Hollywood. Is that going to be the continued location for the, for the fight? Or are you guys going to stick there at Planet Hollywood? Um, it's, again, you know, like I said, there's a few things, uh, I mean, um, there's a few things that need to, need to be finalized. Uh, we may not be in Vegas, um, but there's, I mean, we, we, we would love to be in Vegas, um, for the next show, but, you know, there's a, there's a couple of offers, um, that's come up that, uh, it looks very, very good for us, and so... Uh, we're just tossing things around and making fun. And, and uh, by next, I want to say by next Wednesday, Thursday, we would have final, finalized decisions on on majority of the things um, that was uh, that's about to happen. All right. Well, with that being said, then uh, where can people uh, find more information and, and keep up to date to know exactly uh, when you guys have everything settled down and and have the location and date? Uh, the website is is there anywhere they can follow you on Facebook and Twitter, just so they can uh, keep up to date with uh, with all those. Uh, news as they go along, right? Uh, the, um, the we have the website, which is um, MMAWSOF dot com. Uh, we also have a Facebook, uh, which is a fighting. Um, I have a Twitter. Uh, we also have a, a Twitter, which is at which is a fighting. Um, they can also follow uh, myself on Twitter, which is at Sugar Ray Seffel. Um and also um, my Facebook. So yeah, there's, there's um, a lot of uh, um, uh, you know places where they can get information from. Also, 
All right, great. Thanks, Ray. Uh, honestly, it was a pleasure to have you on, on the on the show. You're you're a legend in yourself, and uh, we really appreciate what you've done so far in your career. And can't wait to see those seven next matches as they go along. And hope you get that rematch with Crow Cup. Thank you so much for the time, and hope we can speak to you soon uh, as soon as everything's more settled down with the next event. Thank you so much for having me. And um, again, you know, a lot of thanks to the fans, and of course, you guys, the media. Um, you know, without you guys. Um, uh, a lot of stuff you know, wouldn't be wouldn't be out there, so uh, I thank you guys. Para estar más informado, visita www.eloctagono.com.